Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, August 31st, 2018. Back again with another Walt Disney World vlog. Today I'm starting off here on my balcony, but it is a pool day. I'm heading down here to do some relaxing. I feel like this is the first day on this trip. It is what, my ninth or 10th day here. This is the first day I feel like where I'm actually able to relax and not really do any work for DPP. So I'm gonna be down there for uh, most of the afternoon. And then later tonight, I wanna head back to Epcot to experience so some more of Food and Wine Festival. Epcot is open until 10 p.m. tonight, so I plan on just staying there until they close. But yeah, it's a beautiful day here. Sunny, a little bit cloudy, but still hot, perfect pool day. All right, time to go jump in. I'm just gonna do a cannonball off my balcony here. All right guys, my room is right up here. Very top one there on the right. On the right corner there. Ooh. I am back from the pool. I had a really nice afternoon just relaxing down there. I did the Lazy River like six times. I was just chilling in the uh, in the little lounge chair. I had lunch down there as well. There's a place called Shades. It's like a uh, poolside little restaurant bar area. I got the uh, fish tacos. Those were amazing. Now I am back. I changed into my Ratatouille shirt here. I just picked this up at Hot Topic. This shirt is really cool. I love Ratatouille. so. Gonna wear this to uh, Food and Wine Festival tonight. Gonna hit it up for round two. It's currently 3.30 right now. I'm just gonna spend the night there. They're open until 10 o'clock tonight. But first, I have to go to Coronado Springs Resort to their business center, because I bought too much stuff, and I need to ship home all of my clothes, or most of my clothes, a big chunk of them. This is probably like, I don't know, 20 pounds of clothes. I um. <laughs> I bought a little too many pins from the pin event, the Halloween party, food and wine festival, and then just all the other releases. So I have bags and bags of pins down here. I also got that huge Haunted Mansion limited release uh, Hatbox Ghost plush, which took up a lot of room in my, in my luggage. So I have two big luggages and I, uh, they're pretty much it's gonna be all pins going home. So I'm, I'm worried about weight is what I'm worried about. So that's why I'm gonna head over there. This hotel doesn't have, I don't think they have a business center here. So I know Coronado Springs does, because I've done this before. So I'm going to uh, Uber over to Coronado, ship out these clothes back home, and then uh, from there I'll get the bus to Epcot. Okay guys, I am back at Epcot. Just uh, took the bus over here from Coronado Springs. I dropped my bag off over there, shipped it out. It was $43 to ship out, uh, which is still cheaper than doing the um, overweight on Southwest Airlines. I think the overweight baggage is like 50 or $75, so it was still cheaper to ship my uh, clothes back home. But here we are, back at Epcot, feeling good. Beautiful evening here on a Friday night. I have a uh, fast pass for Living with the Land, one of my favorite attractions here. So I'm gonna hit up there now, do Living with the Land, and then uh, probably grab a beer or something and just enjoy the evening, walk around World Showcase, do a little uh, food and wine festival here. Welcome to our living laboratory. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Now it's time to get some food. Light lab is straight ahead, and these are the next eats over here. I might head up in there. Here's a look at some of the pins. Some new Nightmare Before Christmas pins there. Okay, I'm in Japan right now. Got a lager. That's good. And uh, this is the teriyaki chicken steam bun. Try this out. Mm. That's good. It is from this booth right here. <laughs> Busy night here tonight. 
I am currently in my home country of Italy right now on this gorgeous night. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Let me show you guys a look. Okay, I decided to stop at the Brews Collection here in Germany. I got a beer flight. I'm gonna show you guys a look at the different beers I got. One is a, uh, a Pilsner, a Hefweizen, and a pomegranate beer. So I'll show you guys a closer look at them now. And I got Spaceship Earth here in the background of me. Right here now, you're looking beautiful on this gorgeous evening. Here they are. With the corresponding beers. There you go. Just making my way around World Showcase. I have a few countries left. And then I'm probably gonna end the night with a little bit of spaceship earth. I just had my favorite dish from Thailand, they marinated chicken. I'm heading down into Future World now. Gonna go check out some booths down there, maybe ride Spaceship Earth. Check out the uh, mouse gears, maybe festival shop, we'll see. See what we get into down there. And they got some concert going on down here. Or a DJ or something, I hear some music. I'm feeling really random right now. So I think I'm gonna go ride Mission Space. Haven't done this for a while. I love the architecture on this building. I think it looks super cool. Ooh, we just got Mission Space. That was fun. I haven't done that for a while. I'm heading over towards Spaceship Earth now, but I think I'm gonna stop at Penn Central first. Actually, I think the Festival Center is still open. I see lots of people going up here. So I think I might just take another run in here and uh, check it out again. Cause it was, uh, I was here on the first day. I just got the magnet. But I wanna uh, take a look around again. It's pretty cool being in here at nighttime. This is like a totally different vibe. It's still pretty crowded in here for being only an hour left until the park closes. Look at all of these wines. Little fun fact here, you can see Silverado Vineyards. That's actually Walt Disney's daughter. She owned Silverado Vineyards. Pretty cool. Look at all those corks in there. Oh, and we have a Skywalker here, which of course is George Lucas. Here's the Disney family of wines, which is everyone who's associated with the Walt Disney Company who owns or operates a vineyard or a winery. Lots of wines in here to pick from. White wines, sparklings, reds. You can pick up your exclusive wine glass here and a stem version for the reds with the food and wine logo. You could use white in there as well if you'd like. Here is a look at the pin display, all of the food and wine festival pins. This is how they come here. That's the only thing in the, uh, in the case, the glass case. We got the uh, limited release, the limited edition pins, all featured in here. And then the mystery boxes here at the bottom. If you want the annual pass holder pins, you have to ask about in their place behind the counter. Back in there. Okay, I'm gonna go hit up Spaceship Earth now. I have a fast pass here from 9 to 10. Ooh, a little blurry. There's the ground that light up, lights up. Progress City.
I just got off Spaceship Earth. Pretty much my favorite ride here at Epcot. And now I'm gonna leave. The fireworks are going off right now. It's 10.02. I'm gonna go get the bus for Disney Springs, hit that up, and then just probably just walk across the street to Buckingham Palace. Boom! Good night, Epcot. Actually, I think it's time for a Joffrey's. Let's get a frozen cap. Nothing like a little late night frozen cappuccino. Currently waiting for my Disney Springs bus. A few people here. Okay, I'm leaving Springs now. I made a purchase when I was down there. I got one of those diff diffusers. Little scents you put in the oils. The lady talked me into it. It's the same scent that Disney uses at the Contemporary Resort in like Animal Kingdom at Pandora. It smells so good, I love it. It's currently 11.15 and I am walking back to my hotel room now. Just got back, 26.4. Gonna head to the room now. All right, ending off the vlog here on the balcony again. I have to. My last night here, whoa, beautiful out here. But yeah, had an awesome time tonight. Quick little evening at Epcot. And um, I think I forgot to mention that hat that I had. You guys might have seen me change my hat. That was from Sarah Beth at Just Beyond the River Train, I believe her name is. I'll leave a link below to her Instagram. But yeah, she made me this custom hat. It's amazing. Here's the custom hat. So cool with the DPB logo on it. I love it. But yeah, super awesome. Thank you, Sarah Beth, for making that. I really appreciate it. But yeah, then after um, Epcot, I just came down here to Disney Springs, hung out for a bit, went to Crystal Arts store. I went to the co-op store. I bought that diffuser thing. It smells like Disney Sands. I mean, I had to have that. And then uh, I went to Pinterest for a little bit. Nothing new there. Just kind of skimmed through for, for a second. But yeah, and then I walk back from Disney Springs right across the bridge down here. Right back over, quick walk back, like 10 minutes. I had an awesome time today at Food and Wine Festival. Great day. It's close to midnight right now. I'm just gonna get ready. I gotta pack up like all this stuff. I have, I got stuff everywhere, guys. Even though I, I dropped off two, two luggages here. Even though I dropped off all that, all those clothes at Coronado Springs, I still have a ton of luggage. I need to pack up. Cause tomorrow I actually have to go back home after my, uh, my long run here though, I can't complain because I had an amazing time here. 11 days here in Orlando. Covered animation celebration, Mickey's That's a Scary Halloween Party, Food and Wine Festival, got tons of content up. DPB was on fire. This is like the best time. One of my favorite trips, like I mentioned before. I just love it so much. And um, I love covering all this stuff for you guys. All the, all the Disney pin news, you know, that's what I love to do, so. I had a little bit of relaxing time as well. I know some of you guys were like, Ryan, just take a break, relax. I did today, you know, had, had the pool day and stuff. So thank you, appreciate that. Um, but uh, yeah, tomorrow I have to go back home. I'm going to uh, check out here in the morning and I'll probably go to Disney Springs for lunch tomorrow. Just stay tuned for that vlog. I will vlog tomorrow as well. It'll be probably a shorter vlog, um, just like Disney Springs and my travel day back home. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today. Really appreciate it and I'll be back again tomorrow. See ya. Yeah.